So YTBC, Joshua Stewart smoking a pipe up north in the woods. Once again, we're down south in the shop. <clears throat> but I'm recording this a uh, little afternoon on Saturday. Had a long day yesterday. Well, short day at work, but then uh, we had to travel to the Twin Cities for an event for my, for my daughter that's going to college down there. And uh, the event got done... Uh, 9 30 10 o'clock then then we had uh, was it in a week or two she's gonna be moving home so as long as we had the vehicle down there we loaded up what we could so we could not have to take the suburban or the trailer in a couple weeks when we move her back for the summer But it's kind of a rush trip, and when we were on our way down there, we were at doing okay for time, and we had maybe about 20 minutes to spare before we had to be at the at the event. So I asked the wife, I said, "Well, you stop at the pipe shop. You know, I'll just be 10 minutes or less. Promise." And if they're open, because this was at like. 6.30, quarter to 7 at night. It wasn't... Comp Mittens! He just bit me. For no reason. I was petting you so nice. So, anyway. Um, so she said, yeah, as long as we can still get to the event in time, go ahead and stop by. So, um place or, or I went in there I was planning on getting another corn cob because I uh, a couple of them are getting a little getting ready to burn out pretty soon I think which was this one I don't know if you can see it's kind of bulging and I don't know how much how much this one's got left this is actually the very first cob i got and there's one or two others that are getting getting close i think i got them too hot a couple of times but well, i'm using the lighter that rose gave me came from amazon a couple of days ago and it works pretty good i'm using the built-in tamper more than my my fancy 16 penny tamper that I usually use. So. A little bit heavy to be carrying in a pocket, but I got my Zippo for that, I guess. So, but yeah, but otherwise the heft is actually pretty nice. I don't know how practical the how practical the pipe stand is because it's kind of a little small to actually I mean it does work but it's anything bigger than like this legend is gonna not fit in it and kind of a pain to well, it, I guess it flips in pretty easy but I guess I'll, if I set it down I either just set it down just like it is or have a, a standalone pipe stand for it so anyway back to the story stopped at that pipe shop is the way we ended up going it wasn't really going to add more than a couple minutes of drive time I mean it was out of the way but it took a slightly different route didn't add much to the drive time got there and they were open and walked in the door. I didn't see anybody. Usually, the one of the guys is standing behind the counter. And this is this is my favorite tobacco shop that I found so far, within 250 miles. And I found a you know, there's plenty of the cigarette and vape shops around, but I found a couple places that stock. 
you know, well, a number of places that stock the codger pouches, a couple places that'll stock like Peterson tins and stuff like that. But this, I guess, honestly, they don't stock a huge selection of tobacco, but it's just got that old school tobacconist feel. And you walk in and you can smell the tobacco. They, they mix a few of their own house blends. One time I was there a few months ago, they grabbed this big bag. I mean, it was like a, a small garbage bag full of tobacco. And they were, you know, measuring out different amounts of this and different amounts of that. And putting it in a big bowl and mixing it up by hand. And and uh, every time I go in there, I do as, as uh, Piper Dave 2023 says, you got to pay the rent. So this isn't the bag, but... I get a little bit of this every time I go there. They call it a Virginia number seven. Supposedly it's a straight Virginia, but I don't know, it's, I like this stuff. This is a, a top five blend for me. I mean, it's got some, a little bit reminiscent of 1Q, but it's not 1Q. Unless it's all in my head, it might be 1Q that they just repackaged, but. There, it seems like there's something more, and it's smooth and tasty. And unless I misunderstood, the guy said it's a straight Virginia of you know different types of Virginias, but I'm sure there's something else in there. They must put a little bit of burly in to tone down the bite because there's like no bite with this stuff. So, I guess if you ever find yourself in the Twin Cities, Jonathan Robert Fielding and Company. So there, there might be a couple other old school tobacconists in the Twin Cities, and I'd love to know about them. Because, you know, it's always fun to go in a brick and mortar. But anyway, I walked in the store. Didn't seem like there was anybody in there. And I'm walking around just a little bit, looking. Look at a guy, he's just uh, chilling out in one of the chairs in the, in the front lobby there. So I ended up getting this I'm down to probably half an ounce, less than an ounce left of this stuff. So bought another two ounces of the Virginia number no. seven. Unfortunately, in Minnesota at retail, You got to, in addition to paying the rent, you got to pay, pay the governor too, so. I think the stuff comes out at like nine bucks an ounce with, with the state taxes and stuff on it. But. To me, it's as good as anything else out there that's the same price without the Minnesota state tax, so. It's worth it for me. Then I picked up a cob too, just another legend. Always good to keep a couple. Of, I should have bought two or three of them because I mean they're. In spite of the tobacco having to be more expensive than surrounding states. They got very decent prices on their pipes. So I'm hoping to get down there at, at least once we'll be down in that area, maybe twice in the next month or month and a half. I think I'm going to try to save my pennies and, and get a Halfway decent Savinelli or Peterson. I don't have any Savinelli's or Peterson pipes yet. Most of my briars are are K Woody's or Dr. Grabo's or Medicos. So actually I haven't used the Medicos very much. I know Paladin, he loves his Medicos. But I've become kind of fond of the K Woody's, so. Try to limit the PAD to just one brand as much as possible, but 
a lot of people like their Savinelli's and Peterson's. So I don't know if I'll get a new one or a, they got, they had a bunch of estate pipes on hand too for, they say, reasonable price. I mean, probably cheaper than you can get them on eBay for one in, you know, refurbished condition like that. So sometime when I get there, if it's not 15 minutes before closing time and when I've got more than five or 10 minutes to spend myself, I'm going to have to look through and pick one out. So, yeah, so went to, after that, got to the daughter's event. That was good and stopped at the Chick-fil-A five minutes before they closed, well, 15 minutes before they closed. Got ourselves some shakes for the drive home and went back and packed up some some of the daughter's stuff and we hit the road about 11 o'clock I think it was before well yeah 10 30 11 o'clock 10 yeah something like that before we hit the road and I'd heard that the northern lights were going to be out so we're kind of keeping an eye out for them. Of course, when you're in the metro area, it's hard to see something like that. But once we got out past the metro area, then, I mean, they were actually pretty spectacular. Even driving on the freeway with uh, all the car lights, I mean, you could see the northern lights pretty good. I mean, I've, I've only seen them a handful of times in my life, probably less than five. And uh, I think these would have been the... If I could have been out, you know, more towards home where there isn't as much light pollution a little bit earlier in the evening when they were a little bit better, it, it, it would have been fun to see. But as it was, I mean, the kids had never seen Northern Lights, so it was good for them to, to see that. And they might be out again tonight, I'm not sure. If so, we're going to have to go a couple miles out of town and... See if we can see them. But well, my son, he's got prom today. So he was, from the moment he, well, he slept in, because of course we didn't get home until like two in the morning. But he uh, started getting himself all spiffed up right away when he got up and They're going to his date's house to get some pictures and stuff out there because apparently her grandparents, if I understood it right, aren't very aren't going to be able to make it to the actual prom itself to watch. So they're just going to go out there and get all dressed up and get some pictures with them and stuff. But otherwise, it's going to be a busy day for me. i got a bunch of stuff to do. So as soon as I get done with this pipe, which I'm about uh, two-thirds, three-fourths done already. Gotta do all the usual weekend chores, like mow the lawn and stuff. And then we're still got the honey-do list to try to pick away at for graduation. Try to get a couple of those things done. Then tomorrow's Mother's Day, so we do what the wife wants on Mother's Day. Usually go, there's a family-owned greenhouse like an hour away that's really, really big selection of stuff. So we, a few years ago, we just started the tradition that we go down there on Mother's Day, so. Being all the kids are home for the weekend, that's what she wants to do again, so that's what we're going to do. But, yeah, I love this Virginia number seven. So, I think, uh, I mean, I'm not getting paid to advertise this or anything, obviously, but... 
I know they do ship. And if you're out of Minnesota, they might be able to get it for you without having to pay the Minnesota tax if it's shipped to a non-Minnesota address. But I don't know if there's a whole bunch of paperwork that needs to be done to do that or if you can just uh, say, you know, ship it to whatever state and, and you can avoid the Minnesota tax on it. Or if you ever happen to be driving through the Twin Cities and you got a, a spare half hour, neat old school tobacco shop. I might have to talk to the guys and see if see if it'd be okay if I film in there next time I go. But yeah, this is... Uh, Definitely a top 10 blend for me, maybe a top 5. So anyway, oh shoot. That I was going to be close to the 10 minutes on this one, being I didn't have a whole lot of stuff to, to talk about. But we're going to be over 17 by the time I get this shut down, so... Might as well shut it down now. Um, maybe try to get another one out this weekend. We'll see how busy things end up being. But This is actually my first pipe since Wednesday or Thursday. Whenever it was that I put out the last video. Didn't get one yesterday. So, anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this, chill out for a couple more minutes, and then get to work for the day. My unpaid work in the yard. Joshua Stewart, smoking a pipe up north in the woods. Have a good day.